Hi, my name is Larry Fiscanich, Product Manager for Rigid. Today I'm going to show you the PTC 400 Power Tubing Cutter. We're going to go over some of the features and benefits and show you how to use it. Before we get started, we want to make sure we have the proper PPE. And we'll start off by unraveling the cord and putting the foot bulb on the ground. On the back of the machine, we have this unique storage area for an additional wheel and bearing that comes off with the removal of the screw. This tubing cutter comes with this unique stand that adjusts from one half to four inches. It has two push buttons on the bottom of the roller balls that adjust in and out to go from four to one half. And then it has a fine adjustment underneath to level the tubing. We'll get started by putting the tubing into the machine and leveling it out using the stand. We can adjust this easily from one half to two and then from two to four with a turn and release. The quick acting feature quickly engages to the size of your tubing and then releases similar to how we have it on some of the manual tubing cutters. The unit's equipped with two speeds, a low and a high, depending on the length of the tubing and the diameter of the tubing you're using. We're using a short piece of tubing and a small diameter, so we're going to be using the low speed. To activate the unit, it's a simple push on the foot bulb. We'll start by setting the machine to the low speed. Then using the quick release feature, we'll advance the cutter wheel to the tubing, then tighten it down to the handle. Then we'll push the foot bulb to start the machine rotating. We'll continue to crank on the handle until the tubing is cut. Once the tubing is cut, we'll release our foot off the foot bulb, take a couple of turns off of the handle, and then use the quick release to completely release it. Removing the optional reamer from its storage area on the back of the machine quickly engages into the side of the machine. To change or replace the cutter wheels is simple. You simply remove the holding pin and a cartridge drops out. Then, by removing the axle pin, you can remove the wheel from the cartridge. To reinstall it, you simply put the wheel back in Take the axle pin, slide it back in, make sure it's aligned with the flat. Then you can take the complete assembly and put it back into the unit. Align the holes and slide the locking pin back in place. 